Are you getting ready to sell your house? There are a lot of things that you should do to prepare your house for sale. And in this video, I'm going to share with you nine of the most important things that you should do. From decluttering to staging, these tips will help you get your home in top condition to help you sell it quickly. Hi, this is Lisa Alford with SoJax Realty. On today's episode of Talking Jacks, we're going to talk about preparing your home to put it on the market for sale. Because if not done right, you could be losing out on a lot of money and giving yourself a lot more aggravation in the process. Before we get into the meat of it, please be sure to remember to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any more of my videos. Okay, we want to start in the obvious places, and I'm just going to run through the list quickly. But if you want a more detailed guide on how to do this, I actually have prepared a book for you, and it's free! You can um, get it down below in the description. There's a link for it down there. Just click on that link, and it'll take you right to it. All right, number one, declutter your house and get rid of any unnecessary furniture. This can be easy or it can be hard, depending on how much stuff you have. If you aren't really sure of what it needs to look like, just take a ride over to your local new neighborhood, you know, new construction neighborhood where they're building houses and walk inside the model home and take a look at that house. That's what your house needs to look like, or at least pretty close to it. But a word of caution here, don't fall in love with that house. We need to sell yours before you can buy another one. Okay, number two, clean every surface in the house, including the windows and floors. Number three, Repair any damage to walls, ceilings, or floors. Number four, make sure that all light fixtures are in good working order and have fresh light bulbs in them. Number five, paint your home a neutral color if it needs it. Buyers are not into multicolored homes. Keep it simple and neutral. Number six, don't forget the exterior. There's lots I could say here. Again, download the book for helpful for more helpful information, but I definitely would make sure that the grass is mowed, the weeding is done, the bushes are trimmed, and it just looks nice and clean. Number seven, prepare your home for potential buyers by adding furniture and decorations. Now, I'm not saying go all out here, but at least make sure that you have some nice looking throw pillows on the couch on the bed, and on the bed, and make sure that your towels don't look, well, used. Hey, if y'all are enjoying this video, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright y'all, number eight. Price your home appropriately based on the current market conditions, its location, and the condition of your home. Your real estate agent can help you with that. Don't have one? Call me. If you aren't in my area, that's okay. I have a network of fabulous agents all over the country, even in places that most people haven't heard of. Number nine, it's showing time. Y'all do this one right. Don't mess it up at this stage of the game after all your hard work. Make the home available and you leave. Don't make it awkward by sticking around, you know what I mean? Leave on the lights, open up the blinds and the curtains. Don't forget to pick up your laundry. Hide everything that has anything to do with Fido or a kitty that you might have. And uh, be sure to take out the trash. Remember the rule here, if I can smell it, I can't sell it. Again here, I'm going to refer you to the free book that I have down below that you can get with that little link down there. All right, y'all, from here, just wait for your offers to come in and negotiate smartly. Once you have a contract, there is a lot more to cover. I'll do that next week, but for now, let's focus on getting your house ready so that we can get it on the market. So you might be wondering, when is the right time to call an agent? Well, I say now. A good agent will be able to help you with all of this. They can see what you can't see and have a trained eye for it. I know many families who do too much on their own or not quite enough, and then they call me and go, I'm ready, but they aren't. So find a good agent first so they can help you navigate through some of this. And if you don't know who to call, call me. If I can't help you personally because of where you're located, I can pretty much promise you that I know someone who can. My info is down below, or you can click on my website link in the banner of this uh, YouTube channel. Either way, let's get in touch. Oh, and don't forget to like this video and be sure to subscribe. Okay, y'all, I hope these nine tips were helpful for you, and you have a great day.